My name's Kevin Brown and I'm a musician. I've come to this Drover's Lane in Avebury to meet my friend Dave Sanger and his girlfriend Rachel. Dave is the only showman in the world to pull a horse-drawn, solar-powered stage. He's a sort of wandering impresario from a long line of showmen. The most famous of his ancestors was Lord George Sanger. George Sanger reckons he could trace his family back to a jester at the court of King John. In the 1800s, Lord George went from running a peep show to owning the most spectacular circus this country has ever seen. He travelled the land with elephants, tigers, kangaroos, buffaloes, an entire menagerie and often performed for Queen Victoria. How times have changed. The glory days of showmen have passed and Dave walks hundreds of miles every year pulling all his worldly goods and his stage. Instead of musicians going on tour, he brings the venue to them, albeit slowly. But sadly, due to lack of funding, this year could be his last. So the name Sanger, it's Anglo-Saxon, it comes from the word Sanger, which means the main musician and entertainer at fairs and festivals, but also the source of the news and gossip. So before newspapers, the Sanger would be the man that would go round with his peep show, with the patter, and stuff like this, you know what I mean? Looking through a glass at moving cardboard cutouts would be something fantastic. <laughs> so what's your plan now, Dev? I'm going to stay here until the weekend, I reckon, and then I'm heading back up to Redditch for my first event, which is Beltane. We've got three weeks journey, but we've got six weeks to do it, so we can move every other day, really. We've got about 22, 23 journeys. You must have walked hundreds and hundreds thousands, of miles. Thousands, yeah. Thousands of miles. Yeah. Gotta keep on moving. Duck you and die. Keep my head down. Do the best I can. Do you find you get mixed reactions? You know, some people come. Yeah, totally. Know, just, yeah. yeah, totally. I remember that day that you put up a post where you said, there we were, sitting down next to this car pulls up with a full Sunday lunch. Oh, Christmas dinner. <laughs> was it Christmas dinner? Christmas was it? dinner, yeah. Oh, man. Two full hot Christmas dinners and pudding. Wonderful. Did they come back for the plates? No, they said you can keep the plates. Did they? We still got the plates. Did in they? Look, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. As, and it's things like that keep you going, don't they? Because yeah. I'm sure you get a lot of the opposite, don't you? Well, I, I, I mean, ten years ago, my ex and stepdaughter, we were at Chip in Sobbury Common, and someone come at nine, at one o'clock in the morning, doused us all in petrol and set us on a light in our beds. So there's the there's wow. the uh, the extreme, one extreme to yeah. another. People often choose to think the worst, but something I really admire about Dave is that when he stays by the roadside, you'd never know he'd been there. In fact, he usually leaves places cleaner than he found them. But it's not an easy life. To try and share six foot by eight foot in the winter with someone is like, that is bad. You can, you can imagine, couldn't you? You know, at least if you're in a house, you can go to, you can go, I'm just gonna go upstairs to the other room. I'm gonna lock myself in the bathroom. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and have a shower. You know, yeah. one person looks at the other one, just in the wrong way. The whole thing can just go complete, because there's no escape. There's no escape. Yeah. So consequently, Rachel's got a little, nice little Des Res <laughs> out the front. How long have you had this van? I built this about six years Did ago. Did you? Yeah. You built it? I built everything here, all by hand, yeah, hammer and chisel. Now. You didn't. Dave's a talented man. He works hard and he doesn't sign on. 
Despite a meagre income, he shares whatever he earns amongst the performers on his stage. Gypsy boy lives out of town. City folk all put him down. People talk. This year, my total income amounts to £1,500, and that's for two of us to live for a year. Every day I look, at, I look at the grass on the other side of the fence and it always looks greener, you know what I mean? I'm completely stuck, but I'm stuck in a bit of a situation that's... Well, how the hell? How am I going to do it? How am I going to do it? Funding, Arts Council. Give me five grand a year, Arts Council. It's not much. And I could keep the show going. I could live like a king. Well, I don't think that's too much to ask. At this point, Dave was stuck by the roadside with a broken stage and no money to fix it. I was wondering if he was even going to make it to his first gig. Well, I'm happy to say he's done it. Please give a massive, massive welcome to the legendary Kevin Brown, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Well, I'm going to the country, get the city out of my head. Going to the country, get the city out of my head. When I'm going to the country, don't know where. Say what you like, I don't care Gotta wash that city Right out of my head I'm gonna find a hill Lay down in the rain Find a hill Lay down in the rain Well, I'm going to the country Don't know where Say what you like I don't care Gotta wash that city Right out of my head Well I'm so pleased the sun's out today because it's made that trip What a trip that was from Avebury to here man. You had some terrible weather Yeah, what's that? Who's that? Hmm <laughs>